Hi guys. So, if you've been following my training or you intend to follow my training on C language programming, you will be surprised that I'm using Visual Studio Code for my codes. It's not a problem, but for guys that are comfortable with Linux or Ubuntu or those who want to work with command line, you can also do everything using your theme editor or Emacs editor and you can run your codes inside of your terminal, okay? So because this is what is applicable in the real software engineering world, you won't be using visual code a lot. You'll be using the Veeam editor and command line. So if you want to run this same hello world program in your command line, it's very easy. So let me run it here. Let's see the output. There you have it, hello world precious. But most of us, we won't be using Visual Studio Code. We won't be using the terminal on Visual Studio Code. We will be working with web terminal. We will be working with maybe Sigwin or Ubuntu of Ubuntu installed on, on virtual machine. So let's use command prompt for this training, but any terminal would work. Windows PowerShell, any terminal, Git bash, anyone would work. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a command prompt. So let me open my command prompt. So it's open now. So I'm going to go into my uh, my Linux system now. So I will use bash to do that. So it's going to take me to my Linux distribution that I've installed already. If you want to know how I did this, watch my previous video on installing Linux on Windows. So let's see where we are, PWD. Okay, let's see if I have some folders here already. Okay, I have some folders. Ah, uh, where do I want to do this? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put this. I have to create a folder to, to do this work. So let me put it inside of... Let's see where will I put this now. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Okay, so I'm in my home now. Now that I'm in my home, I'm going to create a folder called maybe C Learning. So... Let me clear this, please. So I'll call this MKDIR C, C Learn. Let me just call it C, C Learning. Okay. So it's the same thing you'll be doing. So C Learning. Now I have the folder called C Learning. So let's go into C Learning. Okay. I did that with tab. Now I'm inside of C Learning PWD. So let's create um, a file called. Um, hello hello world okay so we say touch let's call it hello note you have to end it with dot c extension okay dot c extension to create a file that is attached to the c programming language so touch hello dot c now this file has been created we can see it you see hello dot c so i'm going to use the vim editor to edit this file that is, instead of using instead of using Visual Studio Code now, I'm doing everything from the terminal, okay? So I'm going to open it with Vim Editor. And now let's begin. So the first thing first is I, I need to include my header. So I need to include my header or the pre -pre 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 processor. Include. So this is called standard input output dot header. This is for... This is what makes your print F works. Now we can create our function. So int main. It's an empty function for now. So let's return. And what are we returning? We are returning an integer called zero. That means that your program ran successfully. Any other number means the program did not run. So is, this is a simple program called a low world. So I'm going to say print f hello world precious then semicolon. As you can see, a simple program, it includes the header, includes standard input output header, then our function int main print f hello world return zero okay and now that we are done with this all we need to do is just to save and go back to our terminal okay so 
sorry so now that we are back in the terminal we just edited the file called hello.c if you so the next thing we need to do now is we need to compile this file to compile it we use a program called gcc so in case you don't have gcc installed please check the previous link or the previous video to see how to install gcc on your computer and if you already have gcc installed the next thing you do is you say gcc hello.c so you say gcc gcc space the name of that file you need to compile the file using gcc so that's what i'm doing i'm compiling the file using gcc so i say gcc hello.c then enter that file has been compiled and how do i know that if i do an lx again you can see now we have two files inside of the folder the one we created hello.c and the compiled file called a.out okay now for you to get the output of this hello.c file to get that print f all you need to do is just to run this one a.out and how do you run it to run a comp to run a file or execute a file or a program in c you say dot slash then the name a dot out okay enter and what do i have here hello world precious okay let me edit that file again so that you see that i'm not doing any magic here so hello vim hello dot c okay so now i'm going to put a new line here because you can see the problem we had with that file just now i'll put a new line new line n and i'm also going to create another print f i'll call this print f and i'll say i am glad to learn the c language okay so let me put a new line again and let's close it then we can save this file now okay now that we've saved this file let's recompile it and how do we recompile gcc hello.c okay lx again to see same thing we still have the output a dot out so let's run this command this a dot out okay a dot out so we say dot dot means your current folder slash a dot out hello world it seems that file did not save so let's go back so you get what i'm trying to do right ah i didn't save the file sorry guys i recover so i didn't save the file so let's redo this okay sorry for that So I'm going to do another print F and I'm going to say the same thing I said before. I am happy to learn the C language. I intentionally don't want to take these errors out. I want you to see them. So we close it. Okay. So now we save. okay so this has been saved now we can we can exit okay it has been saved so let's recompile it again gcc hello world so even if it was another file you still do the same thing gcc file name.c so i've recompiled it let's use ls to see all the files inside here we still have our a out inside this is it so i'm going to do it again this folder slash a dot out and as you can see we have our new output hello world precious i am happy to learn c language okay so that is basically how to run your c language in your terminal so guys i'll be using visual studio code for the training but everything i do on visual studio code know that you can also do it on the terminal because you will be using the terminal most of the time i'm only using visual studio code so that it will be easy for you to follow and see what i'm doing so guys see you in the next videos